Hi, I'm Kyle Apat for CFC Scene. Earlier this month, the NCAA's Division I Board of Directors approved a package of sweeping reforms that gives conferences the option of certain changes regarding the benefits for student athletes. So how will these new reforms impact the College of Charleston? Among the new reforms, the conferences now have the option of adding more money to scholarship offers, awarding scholarships for multiple years, imposing tougher academic standards on recruits, and possibly providing $2,000 in spending monies for student athletes. I asked the College of Charleston Athletic Director, Joe Hull, about how these new reforms could impact the college. This is really going to be about the what I call the haves and the have-nots, the major conference teams easily can afford this. Schools like us, it's going to be much more difficult. Uh, so this may be a way that the big schools can try to separate themselves. One thing that is for sure, student athletes won't be complaining if the NCAA wants to give them more benefits. Alex McGard, a junior at the College of Charleston and member of the cross country team, feels that these reforms could have a positive impact. That's why there's been a lot of uh, problems with the boosters lately, because kids don't have enough money to still buy on the weekends, because right now I think they're only allowed to get $30 for the weekend. And with the new, uh, the new law, they're only get two grand for the year. So I mean, that'll help them out a lot. But what if you were not someone who is athletic enough to get an athletic scholarship? Students nowadays are walking away from college with more than just a diploma. They also leave with the unimaginable amounts of student loan debts. Brad Horn, a junior at the College of Charleston, doesn't understand why the college ignores the student part in student athlete. As a student myself, who's paying out of pocket to come here. Basically, you have these athletes that are getting paid money to go to school and party. And, I mean, I'd like to be getting paid money to go to school and party. With the new reforms imposing tougher academic standards, maybe colleges can finally put more emphasis on the student part of student-athlete. The board is expected to vote on even more changes in April 2012. For CFC Scene, I'm Kyle Apat.